Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back to another boss guide for Dark Souls Remastered in 2024. This is the boss of the forest, which everybody hates killing because it's a little cute old pupper doggo. Uh, but you must kill it because it drops the Covenant of Artorias, which is a ring that is required to beat a later boss that will then allow you to beat the game. So as sad as it is, we must fell this beast uh, yeah, and, um, not a particularly hard fight. This one gave me so much trouble in my first playthrough. Like, this took me so long to actually beat. However, once you kind of get the tricks of it and the, the rhythm of it, um, not particularly that bad. Uh, so basically, it is a dog with a sword, and it will try to hit you with the sword. So what you want to do is stay under it as much as humanly possible. It'll kind of rush at you and swing at you quickly. It'll sometimes do like two spins. So once you get the rhythm of those attacks and how to roll into him and then punish him underneath his body, you know, you'll have a lot easier time. The other thing is this boss can be crippled. Uh, I don't know exactly how to do it or whatever, but, you know, it's probably if you're using a blunt weapon or something, but... If you hit him, like, enough in the legs or something, he will cripple, and the fight will be way easier, because it'll be, way, like, really sluggish. So that is a viable strategy if you have... I'm not sure what it is. It might need, like, a blunt strike or something, because some weapons do it more than others. But, um, yeah, he can get crippled, and then the fight becomes a lot easier. So, let's do this thing. Here we go. Okay, and here we have... Whoop! He's going to immediately start with a quick swipe. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna not lock on, because I want to stay under him. He's gonna do that swipe and then a jump back. So, basically, yeah, a lot of this fight is simply knowing when to roll into him and staying under him as much as possible. Uh, he will jump on top of you and deal chip damage sort of stuff, so you don't want that to happen. He's being very weird right now. Okay, he's gonna swipe once. I'm gonna roll into him. You're always rolling into him. He's going to do that double swipe there, but I'm ready for it. He just dealt damage to me, so if this was a hitless run, that would be voided right there, which really sucks. Okay. Okay. Oh, I misrolled that. Yep, that's bad. So, yeah, if you do get hit, it is awful because he hits really hard. Whoa! Okay. So, yeah, we're kind of in a bad situation now. I'm going to try to heal under him, which is... Okay, there we go. All right, roll. Jesus, okay, he's got me in a really weird tempo at the moment. I'm going to try to use this grave here, never mind. Going to try to get behind him, going to wait for the last second, roll into him. When I'm underneath him, I am safe. Wow, that's already our last heal. Okay, time to play perfectly now. All right, so he's going to run forward and do a swipe. I cannot believe that that just missed. This is such a bizarre fight. Way more weird than it normally is. I'm going to follow this up with an R2. Okay, it was good to go aggressive there. Oh my god, he's hitting me with stuff that I never get hit by. Okay, roll. And let's get under him here. Uh, we're going to hit him twice here. Okay, he's going to spin twice, but since I'm under him, I am safe. He deals like 10 damage to me there. Going to roll here. Going to try to R2 his legs. It does land. And since my weapon is pretty slow, I am going to play the safe game. We're going to roll there. Gonna hit him here. Okay, two more R1s or one more R2. Roll and roll. Okay, and roll. So as I said, that's unfortunate. Roll. Always stay under him and you're gonna be just fine. Okay, we hit him there. So one more R1 and here he's crippled. It's just horrible. I'm not even gonna show this. <laughs> it's honestly horrible when he gets crippled. It's uh... Yeah, when he gets crippled, he's just so much slower, and it's just awful. So, if that happens, it is your benefit as the player, but obviously, finish the fight quickly for the love of God, man. Let the boy... What's that old Chris Farley? Anyways. Alright, so, yeah, a uh, very simple fight, not mechanically crazy. He, It's a dog with a sword, so kind of get the roll timing whenever he, you know, builds up and rolls, or builds up and attacks. Stay under him as much as humanly possible. If you still have gold pine resin, that's big here. It will add to your damage. Uh, and otherwise, yeah, stay under him as much as possible. If he does that double swing, sometimes he'll hit you once and kill you with the second one. So you really do not want to get hit by that double swing. Uh, he'll do that quick swipe and then jump back. But just whenever he's far away from you, always be ready because he could do that kind of run up and then hit you move. So be ready to kind of roll into it. Um... 
Yeah, and it's just a lot of rolling into his attacks, staying under him as much as possible, whacking away at his legs when he can. But that is the Great Gray Wolf Sif fight. Hope this guide helped. If it did, consider supporting by interacting with the video and or check out the Patreon and Twitch in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.